My name is Randy Eggert, and this is for the class Bad Words and Taboo Terms. This is the second in a series of videos on the taxonomy of taboo words. In the first, we talked about the seven classes of taboo words. We're going to reserve the word taboo words or the term taboo words for anything, any part of language, any words of language that are forbidden. In our first class is profanity, and oftentimes the term profanity in everyday language gets used synonymously with taboo words. But we're going to reserve that word specifically for taboo words that are derived from religious terminology. Now, traditionally in English, this was probably the most important, the most productive of the classes of taboo words if we look back, for example, to the 16th century. And up until really the 18th century, 19th century, this was a really big category. These were the really taboo words. And it wasn't until the 20th century that obscenity, which we'll talk about in a future video, really took over with more power. But this was the place where there was some really strong power with these words. These were the really taboo words. So words like damn, God, hell, Jesus, mostly Christian terminology in English. And we find this in other languages as well, that religious terminology gets tabooed. Now, the confusing thing here is that these words, when they're used reverently, when they're used in their proper context, are not taboo. So Jesus, when you're talking about the actual person, that's not taboo, nor is it taboo to talk about gods or God, or even hell in the right context isn't so taboo. It's when they're used irreverently that they become taboo words. So, for example, when we use it as an exclamation, you, you know, are upset about something and you say, Jesus, or you're surprised and you say, God, right? Or you tell somebody to go to hell, or you say, damn you. In those cases, that's when it becomes profanity. That's when it becomes taboo.